Hello, this is the third in my series of videos on quick tips and features you could easily miss in Beaver Builder. Here I'm taking a look at the flexibility of Beaver Builder child columns. This is a feature that's been in Beaver Builder for some time and it's been improved on over time. But I think it's about to get even more exciting when we'll be able to combine it with the new background styling options that are coming to rows and columns in version 2.2 of Beaver Builder. And that's what I'm using in this video. This one is perhaps aimed more at beginners, but there is at least one pro tip in this. And what I've done is I've created an example page. I'm here in the page builder, but I've pressed P to get the preview mode. I'm going to press P again to come out of it. And we'll talk about this first example over here. So what we have is effectively a row with two columns dragged into it. And on the right hand column, I have dragged in two more columns here, creating this parent and child situation. And we can see the parent here is just in the gray because I've given it a gray background and given this some margin so you can see it. Now, the reason for this video, and this is a bit of a confession, is I forgot the other week that we can drag our columns below another column or above as I've done over here. As they go in by default, they are side by side. So I thought it was time I checked out all the options again and reminded myself of what is there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to recreate this on the top. So I'm going to go into my options here and I'm under rows. So I'm going to drag a two column into a new row and we can see that this is pulsating with the color and tells me that it's two columns so I know and I'm going to drop that and then I'm going to drag in two more columns into the right hand side column and I'll just need to get rid of this and there they are side by side and of course it's just a simple task of moving these around in fact once you start moving any of the columns you can drag it tells you where you can place it. So I can place it by the side above or this side if I want. And if I drag it now outside of this parent, it's going to become its own column and could be the parent of another column if I wanted. Let me just move that back and let that go. OK, I'm going to move that, drag it below. Now, something to mention on the options that you see here is that we are presented with the options at the level that is on top. So we have a row and in that we have columns. And then as I add more content, as I have here, I've got columns within a column. So as we can see here, I can drag the whole parent column. In fact, it's not a parent because it's got no children, but you get what I mean. I can move that around because my drag option is here. When I look here, I haven't got my options for parent because they're replaced by the next top level, which is the child column. And I can move those around. But of course, I can access the parent now because it's there and I can just I can just drag and move around the parent here and I can get to my parent settings as well and if we take a look at any of these when we go into our column settings here it's the column settings for this particular child and of course if we move to adding modules in then of course we can't access directly the child columns and we get more options under here so we can see now we can get to our column settings and our parent settings and here we can move the column from the top here but of course we couldn't do that as I often do by grabbing this, forgetting that it's actually just one of the modules. So there was just one other thing to make this the same is to equalize the parent columns here. So I've done that by going over to this column settings here and I've moved that to equal heights and I've left the alignment to the default top alignment as things would naturally happen but I can of course set them to center and bottom so let me just save that so all things are equal here okay so that already applies to the pair next to it obviously because they have to be equal with something 
Okay, I think that is covering a lot of the basics. There was one other option that was added quite recently, and that allows you to duplicate, and also we've got the option to save columns as well. So if I go here, and we'll take a click into the options, and we'll see here that we've got duplicate columns. By the way, as I am using version 2.2, just note here that the column settings which are used most have now moved to the top place. So it might not be the same for you if you're not on 2.2. So let me just duplicate this. And that's what it does. It duplicates all the settings and all of the content, which really can speed things up. Really, really handy feature. I think that pretty much covers it. You can take a look at these examples yourself. And really what I wanted to just point out is some of the options and how these are greatly improved now, combining the layout with the new styling options that are going to come in 2.2. So now I can use the background styling options in my child columns to be able to create kind of effects like this. So I've got my parent is showing a background of this image, but I'm using my overlay and coloring options here in my child column to be able to show those through. And of course here, I can put some border on here. I could have put some border radius or some drop shadow. And here another, again, simple uh, setup where I've just got a image and then an overlay. And this is all in the child column here because we can see the parent options are here. But if I wanted, I could just make sure that the column took up all of the space here and just had one child column within a parent column. And then I would have three levels deep and so I could have a background image and then I could have a cutout vector image over the top revealing some of that background image and then I could put some further overlays over the top of that so I think it really opens up many options and of course you know lots more we can do with the responsive settings where we can swap out our images background options and finally, the last tip for the pro, something I just discovered on the knowledge base, is that if we don't want some others going in and messing things up, we can disable the ability to create new child columns by just adding this line of code to our WP dash config PHP file. Now it doesn't affect what we've already put in place and I think they can still move columns around but it's just a little bit of extra safeguard if there's some complex columns within columns work going on. That's enough from me. I hope this was useful to someone. If it was, then please give me a thumbs up on YouTube and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks very much for your time. I hope you have a great day and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.